Chanel. You guys know that I love the brand. Has it gone too far now? Did the latest price increase made everyone shocked out? Here are maybe 10 reasons why I personally have slowed down or maybe even would stop buying Chanel bags for that matter. Price versus quality. There is no denying that their prices have been steadily increasing at rates that are alarming and unreasonable, not sustainable, ridiculous, whatever adjective you want to use. All the while, we have been experiencing more and more quality issues. Don't get me wrong, I've always been kind to the brand and I still feel like I am because I still love the brand. Let's just be honest, I will always be a Chanel girl. But at the same time, I can't help but notice that even with myself, things that I have been buying started experiencing more and more issues. It's understandable that normal wear and tear can occur, but when they are still quite new or near new or you've been really, really careful and taking care of them and they still have pearls fall out, leather cracking within your first month of wear with light use, is that normal? Now your Chanel store and even mine may not admit it and it doesn't matter at this point. We as a consumer, we can only control our own actions and whether we we are willing to continue buying things that may not necessarily mean the best value because of the price versus quality. Reason number two, they're never available anyway. Granted, even though I buy a lot of Chanel myself, and a lot of you think that I'm a VIP. I don't feel like I'm being treated as a VIP. I'm just a very regular person. I do have nice essays that have helped me over the years. I try to keep a very friendly relationship with them, even though now I've really, really slowed down and haven't really bought anything in a while. It's still just good measure and good etiquette to keep a good and polite relationship with your existing essay, no matter how often you visit them. Having said that, I will have to say that in the past six months, it has been very, very difficult to get a hold of anything. Any shoes that I want, any jewelry that I want, any bags that I want, any accessories that I want, basically anything that I asked, even ready to wear, was never available. The popular items do get sold out prematurely. So yes, this is a very obvious reason for me for why I would have stopped or really slowed down shopping at Chanel because nothing is available anyway. Reason number three, I'm sure as you've noticed, I've been really trying to make my collection really, really tight and I've been downsizing. I want every single bag to have its use and function and whether each item gets used the same amount, which is impossible, but at the very least, each item feels like it has its meaning and therefore that naturally translates into less shopping and less buying from Chanel unless they come up with something so special that I feel like, oh, maybe this is actually more useful than that and then I can just swap them. But because my collection is so tight now, it's less likely to happen anyway. Reason number four, I got no money to shop at Chanel and Hermes at the same time. Over two years now of me collecting Hermes, it's a whole different ball game. You can't just walk into an Hermes my store and buy a bag. It's kind of similar with Chanel now as well, but your chances of being able to get a bag that you want at least here and there is much, much higher than just walking into a, an Hermes store and do the same. You have to be an established client. You have to have spent and bought many things over time for them to see and to believe that you are an, a real client of sort. And so it's just two different systems and I just don't have the funds to do both Hermes and Chanel very actively at the same time. Reason number five, I'm also super grateful and really glad that I already own what I have. I have been buying luxury for many, many years now and I'm glad that I started when I started. Obviously, again, it's all subjective relative to your age, income, when you're ready, all that stuff. But because I already have the collection that I do now, I also don't feel that it's necessary for me to keep buying new Chanel every season. Obviously, I will always still be after new things and wanting to get certain things, but it doesn't mean that I'm not super grateful for already what I own and for what my collection is today. Knowing that and also reminding myself of that whenever I have FOMO moments, for example, then it also eases the pain and eases the urge to want or to have the need to always go and get the next best thing. Reason number six is that I do honestly feel that I have been 
less and less interested in every new collection. Don't take my words out of context. I love the brand still and I will love it forever. But I have noticed that with every single new collection, there's not so many interesting things. Is it the last two or three collections now that I haven't done a reaction video to? And I also didn't have any of you ask me to do or request me to do, which normally is the other way around. Normally you guys would be waiting for my feedback. And lately I've noticed that the overall interest, not just of myself, but you guys also have been less and less interested. Looking at the 23S collection, which typically their spring summer collection is one of their most vibrant and fun and exciting collection out there. I still think it's exciting, but is it so exciting and so interesting that it warrants a whole video? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the most exciting bag this current season is the mini size 22 bag. Aside from that, I mean, the looks and everything, they're really fun and they're beautiful. The runways, they're always so be beautifully put together. But when it comes to the compounding of reasons, right? The fact that the price has gone up so much already, so sky high, nothing is available. Even if I was interested, I can't even get it anyway. So like it really does compound and make it less interesting for me overall. Number seven, again, it's gonna kind of overlap. After a while, every single bag or new releases or new things that come out is gonna more or less look the same. So 22 mini, it's, it's still a 22 bag, but just mini size. And any flat bags that they make, even if it's seasonal and different, it's just another flat bag. So it's nothing super innovative and at the end of the day they more or less look the same so if you already have a pretty good collection if you have so many bags already in your collection chances are adding anything new is not going to really make it so much better reason number eight for me is a big one i have my holy grail small classic flop in the gray color i have my 19 i have my gabrielle i also have my dream birkin and kelly of course i'm still after more almas bags but my point is i already have my holy grail bags that i also wear more often like believe it or not i actually wear my almas bags so often and i always try my best to rotate all of them but Having said that, I have my dream bags already. Anything that I add to my collection really has to make sense and really add value to my collection. Reason number nine, one of the categories of items that I love from Chanel, aside from bags, are their costume jewelry. I'm a big fan of them. You guys know I love my costume jewelry. They are so amazing. Chanel makes the best, 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 best costume jewelry period regardless of the wear and tear i've had right like not, not even going there right now costume earrings for example they used to cost mm, between 500 and 700 dollars occasionally they'll be 900 or a thousand dollars when they're like super super big and stunning like the big chanel earrings but now today at the prices that they are today i find that they are more in the $1,000 to $2,000 range, which makes no sense. I'm just going to say it, the price is a joke. And it's money that you can use to buy fine jewelry. It's that kind of pricing. No matter how much I love my costume jewelry, I can only rotate them so often because costume jewelry, again, is is not gonna last forever. They have wear and tear. They sometimes even wear and tear on their own. And therefore, it makes no sense to keep buying costume jewelry. And therefore, again, this goes back to my reasoning for why I would stop shopping at Chanel because it makes no sense for me to keep buying even their costume jewelry, which I used to love so much, because they cost an arm and a leg, literally, now. Reason number 10, and if you haven't seen the Luxury Live show where we discuss this whole topic in so much depth, and I encourage you to watch it, I will link it down below, there are still categories where I feel like is worth it, such as their shoes, their fine jewelry, certain accessories, and even some ready-to-wear is worth it. 
and I'll always keep my eyes peeled for those items because I will always like something from each collection regardless. But even then, these things are also super exclusive. Like I said earlier, whatever I've been asking in the past six months, nothing has been available. I haven't been able to get my hands on anything I want. Clearly, there is still a huge demand out there. Even though I myself and many of you may feel feel like you are going to slow down for Chanel. I feel like there's still a huge wave of people that are still really into it. Whether it's that or maybe they just have slowed down the production and just not offering it as much and maybe that way they can inversely use that as a marketing strategy to make it more exclusive. It's definitely working. They don't make it easy at all. <laughs> this is not to bash the brand, of course. I still love the brand. I really love the brand. I want to buy things from them. I just can't. I can't get anything. And also because I lost one of my loveliest long time essay, um, all the essays that are now there are all new to me. I no longer have this relationship, if you want to call it, right? That's what Hermes is all about. You kind of stick with an essay and you build your profile, but also the relationship with that person that knows you the best. And I have lost that at Chanel as well. So anyway, it's a bit sad. Let me know if you have stopped shopping at Chanel or maybe slow down and what are some of the reasons. And if you resonate with anything that I've said, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I also co-host a live stream show every Friday. And if you want to get the full experience, also join my membership where you get more behind the scenes story time and unboxings. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye!